Hello everyone, I am the Toy Major. It's been a good couple of days <clears throat> since I last made any videos. So we're starting today with the Batman from Batman Fighting the Frozen. One of the more recent page puncher waves. Uh, this is one you'd probably be able to find in your <clears throat> Target Walmart right now. Um, I'm not sure where else. So we're going to go with, we are going to start with, I'm sorry, um, <clears throat> his accessories are two weapons, an axe, it looks like it has a bat shaped stone into it, and this other one, I think like a small sword. Same thing, top of a bat ship, bat shape, um, into it. I'm sorry, my English, my, ugh, a little off today. Um, <clears throat> and of course all page punchers, uh, come with the basic McFarland stand, DC. They of course come with an art card trading card, whatever you guys want to call it. If you want to pause and read it, go ahead, because we are going to move on. And before the figure, you also get a full comic book. And <clears throat> these Finding the Frozen ones, they're all pretty much the same. I just flipped through it as quick as I could, so no spoils. McFarlane usually advertises their own stuff in here. Uh, <clears throat> each figure has a different cover for the comics, and the comic inside is the same. This wave has six figures. If I can, I will try to review all of them. Um... <clears throat> Otherwise, I, yeah, you can also get these guys on McFarland Toy Store as well. Because as usual, I will put purchase links below and you guys can check them out there. So this is obviously a cave Batman. This is not a Bruce Wayne. I don't know who in the world this could be. His cowl or his hat is stitched together. And I think it has actual bat ears for the, well, you know, the pointy bits on his <clears throat> cowl. His cape is kind of like that of Martian Manhunters I reviewed a bit ago. Um, it's like a very soft, kind of a flexible rubber. You don't have to worry about bending it, it's just going to pretty much spring back into shape. This figure has some pretty tough articulation. I'm always afraid the arms will pop out sometimes when I do that. So that's the elbow, the wrist. When you're messing with the ball joint ones, Always look for that little circle because that's indicating that's left and right. Gonna kind of bend the hand a direction, turn it. Didn't do too well on that. He's got a, I think this is an ab crunch. It's pretty good. Leans forward pretty generously. And leans back pretty well like the prehistoric master Limbo. Um, his belt here, this little rope piece does not come off. Uh, looks pretty good. This other arm, same articulation, pretty good. Um, he's wearing these van braces here, which are mostly like leather with bits of 
jagged stone pointing out of them. And of course, the leg goes forward, bends. Of course, it looks weird. It's uh, just flesh. So, of course, that's going to look a little strange. Um, his feet are in a wrap. Now, this piece on the other one, this kneecap piece, I think it's actually glued onto there. It's not... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. It's just... Okay. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. So this one with the ankle bits are a little odder than normal, probably because this is all the way, these little wrap bits are all the way down on the both of the ankles, the um, heel close to. So it's very strange has a stone bat symbol on his chest, a small one here, belt, these little stone throwing daggers. Keep in mind, these don't come off. If you have a knife, uh, something like a hair dryer to heat the glue, you could take these off. Um, fill in the spots here where there's probably little holes. Just fill them in and you can have a caveman that doesn't have a cave. The heads always pop off. I just never mess with them, these figures. Because I don't want to risk breaking them. So now... On this one, I am going to take a moment. Do a pose. Hold on. The other thing about these ones... Um, when you're putting the weapons on, different than other McFarlane figures, is the fingers will try and bend, they could bend inward, just be careful, um, they can still snap off, and of course I don't want anyone's figure to get broken, neither, hold on, I sometimes don't really do poses for these figures. Um, I usually just leave them as is because sometimes the legs, capes, or whatever could bend. And obviously, I don't want that. Hold on. So here's one that looks like he's leaping with both weapons drawn. And of course, <clears throat> I'm sure, you know, you guys have imaginations of your own. You'll probably do something with this and the other figures. Um, I'm forgetting something here. Oh, yes. I don't have it with me, but the packaging for these figures is odd. Uh, they're like in the, the plastic, I've got no idea what it is. These guys are not in boxes, like traditional figures, traditional McFarlane. So, yeah, so this is <clears throat> the review for the Batman from Batman Fighting the Frozen. Get a cave bat, two weapons, card, the... You know, very common McFarlane display stand. Move that to the side. The card, the comic book, and pretty much it. I honestly say he's a pretty cool figure. Pretty bulky. A lot bulkier than the other Batman that McFarlane has done. Um, and the comic does not say who this guy is supposed to be under the cowl, so... I don't know where you're going to have to look to find out more about that. So, 
And thank you guys for <clears throat> watching. If you want to help this channel and the content, you can leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment below with pros and cons of how the channel's doing. I'm looking for positive, negative feedback to help the channel grow. And I would appreciate if you guys hit me with whatever honesty you think it deserves. So, thank you guys very much for <clears throat> taking a look. And I will catch you all later.